Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. Today I shall solve another problem from quantum mechanics. So you can see the problem where we have one particle executing one dimensional motion along x direction along the x axis and the wave function associated with the particle is given by this equation. So we have to calculate the position probability density where the particle is most likely to be found. So let's start. So we have our wave function psi x is equal to root over 2 by pi whole square root x plus i x 1 plus i x square. Note that if I put x is equal to 0 then psi x will be 0 so we have to remember that now psi star would be equal to root over 2 by pi to the power half x minus x divided by 1 minus i x square so probability density p is psi star psi and that would that would be root over 2 by pi x minus i x times x plus i x divided by 1 minus i x square times 1 plus i x square so that would produce x square plus x square divided by 1 plus x to the power 4 so we can basically write 2 times 2 root I mean 2 root 2 by pi x square divided by 1 plus x to the power 4 this one so at the position where the particle is most likely to be found the probability density should be maximum so if we want to find the maximum probability density we have to take the derivative so we have to calculate this one basically so let's do it Now for P that is the probability density is maximum we should have dP dx is equal to 0. So in that case we will write that x times 1 plus x to the power 4 minus 2 x to the power 5 is equal to 0 we can divide this equation by x note I have mentioned that x is not equal to 0 so if we do that thing we can write Now x to the power 4 is equal to 1 and that will give us x is equal to plus minus 1. So these are the values plus minus 1. So I have also plotted this equation and I can show you that here you can see 
okay now i can plot the equation mm, the equation was for p that was 2 root 2 2 root 2 divided by divided by um, pi times there was x square there was x square um, divided by 1 plus x to the power 4 so this was the probability density and you can find that this probability density becomes maximum at plus 1 and minus 1 so we also have found these values during our calculation and you can also see that at x equal to 0 the probability density is 0 so basically you can also uh, see the wave function uh, if i don't know whether i can draw this imaginary wave function here i can check that so i think you have understood the problem and if you have liked this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up that will boost my motivation and please also don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching